guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today we're gonna to be doing a college survival guide because I've officially been to two different colleges now I've been a commuter and I've been a dorm resident so I feel like I know what I'm talking about and I can help any of you that might be thinking about going to college or you're in college and you're struggling um, I know how that goes so, without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. So I'm going to split this video up into three parts. What you need to have, what you need to know, and what you need to do. So we're going to start with what you need to have. The first thing that you need to have is a planner. And if you did not have a planner in high school, this is the time to have a planner because everyone needs a planner in college. There's just so many assignments and rehearsals and extra activities and there's just so many things that you are juggling and it is not possible, I promise, for you to remember everything. So make sure that you get a planner. You also should get medicine before you come to college because everyone is bound to get sick at some point so if you have medicine or immune boosters that can prevent you from getting sick those are very helpful and trust me you do not want to be getting sick when you have lots of tests and papers and just all of that together is not a good combination so make sure you get some medicine next you need to make sure you have some good quality leggings especially for when you have early classes and you just want to be cozy if we were allowed to wear leggings here at my school we can only wear them if you have a shirt that covers your butt but if we were allowed to i would wear leggings way more often you definitely need some quality leggings to fit your college girl or guy i guess vibe <laughs> one thing that i think is super helpful is i have a whiteboard in my room and I do have weekly assignments, but what I also do on my whiteboard is put the bigger assignments because when we're keeping up with the weekly things, we can forget about the big paper that's coming up. So that's why I write my big assignments or my extra assignments that I have to do outside of class, like meeting with people for a community group or something like that. I always write those on my whiteboard so that I know in advance and I don't get blindsided by something like that. This is not a college essential for me, but literally everyone else in my hall has one of these. It's a coffee maker. If you are someone that survives on caffeine, you definitely need a coffee maker in your dorm room. I personally don't. I just don't need caffeine in the morning to wake up, but some people do need that. So if you are one of those people, make sure you get a coffee maker before you go to school. Also, dry shampoo is a lifesaver. I use dry shampoo all of the time and it's just so easy if you just can't wash your hair very often. Using dry shampoo is a go-to, especially for me when I have my 7.30 a.m. class. I normally put dry shampoo in my hair and I'm good to go. That's just an essential for sure. Another obvious college essential is Hot Pockets and Ramen. I definitely eat these things when I'm on the go and I gotta rush to work or to class or something. I definitely am a culprit and I have been a part of the college stereotype and you will be too. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. Last practical thing that you're gonna need is a water bottle because you need to stay hydrated and taking care of yourself. So make sure you get a durable water bottle that you can bring with you to classes just so that you can stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, kids. <laughs> now we're gonna move on to what you need to know. And the first thing that I have on my little list is friendships are very casual and typically in high school you have your best friends your group of friends and you only hang out with them and if they don't hang out with you something is definitely wrong and I don't know why I had that mindset when I was coming here to the school that I'm at right now but at first I was like what the heck why aren't they talking to me but literally that's just college it's very casual and you just talk to people whenever you can and it's not any deal there's no drama behind it it's just 
everyone's busy, everyone has things going on, and they will just hang out and talk when they can, and if they don't, it's no big deal. Something for you high schoolers going into college especially to know is that friendships are pretty chill. Another thing is time management is everything. Time management will break or make your college experience because if you have poor time management, you will be one of the college students that struggles and is crying and has mental breakdowns, but if you have great time management, you will be thriving. And trust me when I say this, it's not easy, but once you get into the routine, then you will be thriving. And I definitely feel like I'm a good time manager. So I feel like I do pretty okay there in managing my assignments and managing classes, work, friends, family, all those things. There is a lot that you do have to manage, but it's totally possible. The next thing is professors aren't as strict as you expect them to be. I feel like in high school they always tell us a professor won't let you do that, and honestly they will. Professors are actually pretty chill. I've been to two colleges now, and I've experienced this at both colleges where they just want you to succeed just as much as you do, but they won't go the extra mile for you. If you want to succeed, you got to put in the effort. And that's how college professors are. The next one is people aren't as concerned about your life as you think they are. And in high school, we always think about what other people think of us and all of those things. And they probably are thinking about you and what you're doing. But in college, literally nobody cares what anyone else is doing. Whether you come into class and you just rolled out of bed or if you got super cute that day, literally no one's going to look twice. It's just life. People are just concerned with what they're doing and their friends and they're not really thinking about you that much. The last thing you need to know is you can do it and I feel like I thought when I get to college I'd struggle so much. Some people are struggling and it's because of the time management thing that I was talking about. But if you have good time management and some solid friends around you, like, you'll be fine. You're going to do great. So I'm just going to give you that encouragement now. And we're going to move on to what you need to do. What you need to do, get into a habit of this before you come into college and continue to do this when you're in college. But set apart time for yourself and make sure that you're actually alone in that time. Because this rest that we all need is mandatory for us to function properly and because you're probably going to be in dorms and surrounded by people all the time it's hard to really get alone by yourself figuring out who you are and identifying your emotions figuring out how you feel about things it's just necessary for us as human beings to have time to rest jesus even took the seventh day to rest so if he needed to do that, then so do we. This is very helpful, but apply for scholarships before you get into college because they're going to help you a lot in the long run. I don't have time right now to apply for scholarships, but my mom is applying for some scholarships for me because I literally don't have the time. So when you're still in high school and you're not as busy, make sure that you spend the time to do that because it can make a world of a difference. Also before you're in high school and when you're in college save as much money as you can because you're definitely going to need it i saved a good amount of money and it actually helped a lot later on because i had a payment that i didn't know how i was going to pay for college but i just was able to use some of the money that i saved up to take care of it so make sure that you do that because it's going to help you out in the long run and you don't want to be a broke college kid you probably will be but you want to try to avoid it as much as you can. Spend a lot of time with your family before you start going to college and when you're in college and you go home for the holidays and all of that because your family is your central point. The people in college, high school, wherever you go, they're going to come and go in your life. People have seasons, but your family does not have seasons. So Make sure that you spend time with your family, build solid relationships with them, and keep in contact with them when you're in college as well. Learn how to get into a routine before you get into college or during, probably should have done it before, but you can still do it while you're in college. Learn how to get into a routine because 
all colleges is a routine. You go to this class Monday, Wednesday, and this class Tuesday, Thursday, and it's just a routine that you keep going through. So if you learn how to get into a routine, you know you're going to need this assignment on this day and all of those things, that will help with that time management factor that I was talking about earlier. So as much as you don't want to do it and you don't want to become a real adult, getting into a routine is important. And lastly, make amazing friendships while you're in college. That's what everyone talks about that you're going to do when you're in college. And I feel like when you're in college, there's just so many things going on that you can forget to hang out with your friends and talk to them. At least for me, maybe it's because I work a job as well as going to college, but make sure that you're spending time to truly talk to people and to get to know them because these friendships could last for the rest of your life. You don't know. So... That is another important thing that you need to make sure you're doing. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye, guys.